aggression is advised. It's a shame I had to come to this, Madam Kazoo. You're dead. Good to see you again, Bilious Rex. Well, it is, unfortunately, a fight to the death, so... Am I left-handed? Am I right-handed? I don't know. I'll be fighting you, right? Are you ready? I've been ready my whole entire life. Alright, well, the first one to die is dead. That's what they say in the old tales. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Begin. Alright, come here. Skogonote Stabbins. Finest blade in the Three Kingdoms. Who the hell is this guy? He's my bodyguard. I hired him to fight for me. No, I don't have a... Sir, I have no quarrel with you. It is with this she-devil that needs to die. Well, how so. can you? In Greece, the bid? Well, how much, how much is she charging you? Like $5. Fine, $10. $10? The lie yeah. has it. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. No, uh -huh. no. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars? The last. Wait, no. Scoggins are stabbing. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, the lad has it last. Twenty-five. I'll withdraw it from my bank account. Come on. Twenty-five you die today, sir. <sighs> really? He's we're gonna we're do this all day? Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fat National Nerd Runthers, and this time we are doing Cell Swords and Cell Swords Olympus. Uh, two games by level 99. I figured we would do one game of each, um, just to show you the difference between the two and then obviously the discussion. This time we are doing, we are fighting for Yggdrasil, which is a little bit different than actual, the regular Cell Swords. Uh, we only play one round, but we, instead of drafting for, the, for our Cell Swords, we actually start with, uh, we just draw the top two cards of the deck and then choose which one to keep and play and then the other one goes at the bottom of the, of the deck. I don't know, I think the, uh, the drawing from the deck it could be interesting because instead of, you know, drafting for cards and knowing what the other person has, you're very limited on what you're going to get and what they're going to get, so it could be fun. So, uh, red, he's red, I'm blue, I hate blue, I hate mm -hmm. you, I'm going for it, blue always goes first. Um, that's not true at all. <laughs> uh, but I let you pick your color. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, may choose an enemy tile. I'm gonna actually go with the Titan. Oh, snap. Cannot be flipped by any means. Strong. Oh. Alright. Strong Third. start. Yep, yep, he's already mine. Okay. There's a weird uh, kind of strategy to this game. Cat, Cat, uh, and I actually played this the other day, and she, she beat me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh -huh. All right. May move to an adjacent. Where do I? Where's this one? It'll go at the bottom. Oh. So. Oh yeah. May move to an adjacent space if placed next to. I don't know what it is. Question. If placed next to. Which actually does sound just like it seems like there should be something else after that. Uh, what's the check term? When the Maybe it's like that she could flip two tiles if she, like, needed when to. When the tile is placed, played adjacent to Schechter, you may move Schechter to an adjacent open space next to a tile. This happens before numbers are compared. So. Mm -hmm. So she can dodge out of the way trying to flip her. Yeah, yeah. Because she sucks. Hey, Schechter. <laughs> Dang it. Gotta love that initiative. Freaking. <clears throat> eh. Stupid rules. Alright, let's see what I got. Okay, Necromancer, all numbers on adjacent tiles are reduced by one, or <laughs> let's go with, um... Going Cadenza? Going with Cadenza, and let's see, I'm going to move to an adjacent place next to you. Well, let's, uh, let's get you out of the way then. Cadenza's fucking OP. I'm going to go there, and he cannot be moved. <laughs> so he can't be moved. Yeah. But I can move to an adjacent space. Yep. If I'm placed next to, so I can just go, whoop, like that. Yep. Neat. Alright. So then he just free floats. Yep, kind of. Kind of, but I mean still it's gonna take up spots because it's only a five by five grid. Right. So So yeah, oh fuck. I, I don't even mm. know why you're looking at him. <laughs> mm, I do love Alexian so much. <laughs> I love him so But read him. Right. I know after comparing numbers then you flip him and he can't be flipped by any means. Yep, and my Titan's so good. Yep. Um so 
plus one at the end of round. So at the end of round. Is that end of round? End of, we, at the that end of this one round we play. Jason Tiles, give plus so. one. The glare, I'm sorry, like, I, it's just, it's just, the light, and I just, the glare, and sorry. Ooh. Not going with Alexian. Yeah, I understand, he sucks. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what, I would flip Cadenza, and then you go, and then it's an even. Yeah, I know, right? So, uh, mm, and then it's just like a permanent spot for you, unless I have some hackster ability. Right, there. right. Mm. Like, that makes you, like, ignore someone's ability. So, okay. Adjacent tiles get plus one. So for every adjacent tile, she gets plus one for all of her points? Uh, let's see. Adjacent tiles give plus one point at the end of the round, yes. Okay. So, like, say if I were to put her here, she would get three plus for that that turn? Uh, yep. Is that what I'm calculating? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> um, so then that would guess put her five, and then she would flip Cadenza? She gets, uh... Is that... Like, I don't want to do that if that's... That would give her three. Right, and that would put her five, beating that number of, of cadenzas. I have cadenza. Right. Okay. So you'd flip. No, because if I beat you, I don't flip yours, since you placed the Valkyrie. No, I mean, I mean like, okay. Adjacent, okay, so for every adjacent at a time, she gets plus one. I think it's a, I think it's a point um, to score. Not, 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 not a strength point. Oh, well, no. All right. So <laughs> we're just, we should just keep this out. Yeah, it just takes up so much space. I know, map. but you know, the autism. <laughs> the round in which Valkyrie is played, tiles adjacent to Valkyrie give one additional point to that tiles controller. Okay, so she just yeah. had a booster for yeah. my... Oh, but I don't want to put her there. But you should. I should. And so just that by tiles... me placing her, she doesn't get flipped. It's just if you place yeah. it, yeah. it's just that she's not going to flip him. Correct. Hmm. I love how I just put that back. Right. So yeah. Um, and then, so you have to kind of do a control there. Um, I love how I've got two things that cannot really be affected. I mean, he just will be, he just can't be moved, which is great. Uh, I guess. All right. So let's see, I got a ranger and captain, plus one to all numbers for each adjacent ally tile. And diagonals do not count. Um, ooh, for each adjacent tile. Okay, well this is going to be pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and just play the ranger there. Minus one to all rangers numbers for each adjacent tile. So it's still a five to a two, so that beats your Valkyrie. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Oh boy. Alright, there we switch the place of any two adjacent tiles. Oh, oh, teeth yeah. may switch a tile in your Did you say in teeth? My, yeah, teeth. <laughs> it's may thief, switch a way. tile in the hand. In your hand? I don't have a hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be interesting. One opponents. Um I know there's a number two ever one two. Uh but, yeah, I guess that's true. Stupid yig for sale. There's no point using that one. Oh, um, well, I guess I'll go in there. Make some wood slippy tiles. Okay. Trader, so. Rod switch him to... <laughs> so, like, uh, he could switch space just anywhere, or do I just get to put him wherever? You just switch the... Oh, he can't be moved, though. He cannot be moved at all. Yep. Oh, he's unmovable. So, let's see. And I got Bard may use a flip tile to compare numbers with one tile. Okay. Or Rock does not compare numbers may flip any one enemy tile. Uh, okay, so we're going to go here, and it doesn't say adjacent, so I'm going to flip her to me. She's really good. Does not compare any numbers. Can you flip any one in top? It just comes in for some of her. Okay, all right. You can be okay. able to, I don't even know if anyone's, if anyone can see. Yeah, always getting the, always getting the free flip cards. Yeah, it's all right, just... 
completely undermines my strategy. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Sorry. Yeah, let's just move that down a little bit. And then, sorry for the glare, everyone. I don't know what to do about that. It's been three years still don't know how to figure that out. How long? What are you going to do? Why do I get no numbers? Um, no numbers. Oh, he's got two adjacents, and now he's down to four. Uh, I got Schechter over here. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My range are making them weaker. <laughs> Whoops. And yeah, I guess it's just any adjacent. I guess that makes sense, though, if you're up right up on him. Unless it has to be enemy tiles. It's probably any. He's number 29. He's not. Oh, yeah, he is. Yep. So, that makes sense. Who do you got? Oh, you got a sexy innkeeper. Tile to win it. So, I guess. Would activate first. Would her move activate? What's the ability? May move like. one adjacent tile to an adjacent space, uh, or may move to an adjacent space if placed next to. Uh, I would probably say hers because she was placed next to. Um, but so I can only move to an adjacent space. Um, so can you float then? No, I don't think so. I think I would have to be able to move it to uh, something. So I think she would have to stay there. Um, Unless, yeah, it's like it's almost like what counts as adjacency. Uh, just, like, could I could I move her? Um, so all cards have to build off each other. You don't just get this pseudo five placer that you can put them where the hell ever. Right. Um, I mean, this game doesn't really explain a whole lot in stuff like that. Uh, like, so let's see. Innkeeper. What's the number? Twenty three. 20, no, 8. When innkeeper's played, moves any adjacent tile to an empty space adjacent to innkeeper. That's what happens. And then her is 42. When the tile is played adjacent, you may move to an adjacent open space next to a tile. This happens before numbers are compared. So uh, it would it either be I could move her there, but you're just going to move her where I'd move her anyway. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and just move her to an empty space next to him. Basically, I'm over there drinking, getting my rocks off. Up here. That way I can beat her. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Wait, this is good. Uh, let's see. Tannis may choose any one tile, move it next to any tile. Or Archer compares numbers exactly two spaces away. Let's go ahead and go right here and then flip Cadenza. Because I can carry numbers. Do, do, do. All right. Go, good sir. A spoy and a fairy. When numbers are compared to the fairy, they get negative two. What? <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, I think I moved you outside the bounds of the board. No, you got to move. Um, I think. Is this not the bounds of the board? One, two, three, four, five. Because we're right here. One, two, three, four, five. There are no bounds. Well, there are, but within a five. Well, it's five. like this is the middle, so we still have a whole row down here. I think I'm no, it, no. It's not. It's not broken up like that. Oh. This doesn't constitute the exact middle. It's just you go in a five by five grid. Okay. So, so right just now, kind of constructs correct, naturally. Correct. So, so now this is the bottom. This row. is the bottom row. Oh. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. Things start getting really. Harry. Tight. Oh. Mm. Yes. Mm. Harry. Harry. <laughs> not yes. tight. I'm not tight right now. Do you think it's better to be tight or loose? Mm, that depends. <laughs> it depends on what you're talking, talking about. <laughs> figurative or, or literal here. <laughs> and then what are we referencing? <laughs> there are so many variables in that statement. <laughs> yep, just use your imagination. Let yeah. it run wild. Yes. Um, I guess we'll do. You know, I uh, personally, I think it would be um, a better to be to be loose than tight. So I really like that Titan. He's just—it's just so nice. So I guess she would be a zero with his ability. So then I could put him. Whoops! Put him here and flip all Aww. the Valkies. Dang it! All right. 
Um, so let's see. A paladin, all numbers on adjacent tiles are increased by one. A cover <clears throat> may move terrain tile adjacent to any other tile. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and quickly... Hmm. <clears throat> okay. This is going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and go here. <sighs> and flip. Flip her over. And then let's move this up here. Okay. Alright. Because the car is the elementalist, right? The elementalist fighter. Oh, yeah, he's like the super standard fighter. Yeah. No, weak. Adjacent enemy tile. Yeah, the good thing is you don't like center around the actual terrain. It's just kind of a starting off point. Even though I guess you can play without it. You can just play with no no terrain tile. Okay. Um, I guess oh. I'll place him like this. And then he can switch with an adjacent enemy tile. And then that would come in here and swap this guy. Aw. Boop. Boop. Yeah, see, so... And that's why, it's because now it's a nine. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, it's still a... No, no it's still six. I'm just looking at it upside down. He's like a three Paranormal. now. Yeah. Uh, no, he's a, it, terrain tiles included. He's actually a uh, oh two. He's actually a two. Um, okay, Kadath may choose adjacent space. Opponent places there, or a duelist may rotate adjacent tiles once in any direction. All right. Um, well. You kind of took what I was going to do, and Oops. if we, hmm. okay, um, yeah, we're going to go, hmm, 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 oh, actually, I'm going to go here mm -hmm. with my duelist, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to rotate this right there, which I would then beat him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Suck that. Mm -hmm. I like it. You fucking freak! We got him on the run, boys! The throne is ours! Okay. Um, so let's see. May rotate a tile two away, then compare to it. Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh oh. This would be cool. So let's go ahead and do this. And then, uh, sure, I'll rotate it like this. And then I'm going to compare it to it, so my 4 beats that, and then my 2 beats this. There we go. Neat. Yeah, the other one I got was a fool, and he doesn't compare numbers, and he flips one random adjacent tile. <laughs> it's like, fuck that. Right. And unless you play some strategically, mm. just throw the fool in the midst. Who the, so, the, so the theme behind this game is that you hire cell swords. Mm. Who the hell would be like, I want that guy. The dude in the diaper and with the shoe on his head. That's I'm gonna pay for him. Alright. Changeling and then Ryu. Can we compare numbers with the first two tiles in one direction? Hell yeah. That's OP. Yep, let's go ahead and put that right OP. there. OP! And just flip that right there. Go ahead and put your other person on the uh, um, there you go. Oh, it's Rakyuk, not Ryuk. No, it's, it's the guy from <laughs> Death Note. It's Willem Dafoe. Yeah, now we only have... No, 
how many spaces left. Seven. Um, then, I mean, he gets the minus two, six, so he's a fairy. Yeah. Alright. Whew. Can only flip one tile. Oh, geez, yeah. Okay. Uh, Borneo may flip any tile. If so, opponent does the same. And then, uh, ooh. Oh, this is the one you needed. Freaking Bane Veer. Mm -hmm. uh, adjacent tiles lose their ability. Mm -hmm. um, and so let's go ahead and uh, let's go right here and then beat him. Okay. I should probably find uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just get my uh the most I do with adjacent tiles lose their ability. Is that yeah. just like a permanent thing? It or? is a uh, it is a continuous ability. Mm. So if you place next to him, um, I mean, if you beat him then then you have right. him. So Oh, <laughs> okay. Mine. <laughs> All right. Blue sign. So let's see. I got a beggar minus two points to opponent at the end of the round, or a squire may switch places with an adjacent ally tile. Hmm. <laughs> Harumph. Let's see. What? <laughs> I went, okay, two, yeah, let's go ahead and go here, and then beat him, and then I'm not even going to give you the chance to try and get the beggar, <laughs> no, in my luck, I'll lose by two points, so, neat. I guess I'll play the Terramancer and put all three. Oh, Boom! Damn. Oops. And then Wizard may move Flip Tile to an adjacent empty space, or when Monk is compared against, he gets plus two. So let's go ahead and go right there, and I get plus two. It's getting itchy. And there's one spot left. Mmm, hopefully I get good drawers. <laughs> good drawers? Good drawers. One tile in one direction next to Siren. Well, can't pull anybody. They choose an opponent's tile. They play that next. Oh, I can pick your next tile. So what's this? When is compared against, he gets plus two. So just... Okay, so that was making four. Yeah, I can only ever flip him. Nobody else has any abilities. So I guess I'll just... Whoops. And flip the monk. Okay, we compare. All right. Uh, I probably lost, because I seem to always lose this game. Uh, so let's see. Pulling your phone out. Uh, I guess. <clears throat> so. Because math is hard. <laughs> Alright, so we do rows and columns. Um, yeah, yeah, I totally lost. <laughs> no way I didn't. Um, so we'll just do rows first. So you're going to get four points. Okay, four. We'll just do each of them each of ours, and then you're going to get uh, two points, and I'm going to get one, and you're going to get two points, I'm going to get zero, you're going to get uh, one point, ooh, yay, and then I'm going to get four points, and you're going to get zero, and we'll do, uh, did I say rows? Sorry, we're doing columns, then we're going to do rows, okay. so you're going to get four points, and I'm going to get uh, two points. Do I get two for two? You're going to get one. one. Plus one. Yeah. And then there, that one right there, you're going to get two points. And then I'm going to get two points. And then we're both going to get one point right here. Hmm. Oh, wait, what was this one worth? Oh, I got two points, so you got one. Just one, and then this one's worth two. One. One. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got, get? I got 15. 18, yay. Cool. Funny how willing people are to join you when they realize you're the winning side. All right. So that was that. 
Pyromancer MVP. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> um, so, and my my phone's going crazy. Now we're gonna just go, gonna transfer over to so Olympus. now we are actually on to Olympus and. Uh, basically, already we're not doing the weird draw two. It's the same game, like it's the exact same game except different abilities. So uh, now this one will go two rounds, um, and then we'll we'll get a whole new hand hand of cards uh, for the second round, and everyone everyone stays. So we'll go since you uh, and it seems like everyone's like OP in this one. So since you won the uh, the last the last game, uh, you can start. Okay. So what's the thing here? Oh yeah. Adjacent tiles give plus one point to their controller at the end of the round. Oh, so that's something you'll have to keep track of. Well, at the end of the game, or at the end of the round, if you have an adjacent tile, you get an extra point. Like to to Mount Olympus. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it's just a potential for several points. Right. Right. Um. Oh man, okay. Uh, yeah, and since this one is actually new, um, like, you kind of have to read your abilities. Uh, see, that's good. See, all these are actually really good. That one's not bad. So it is your go. Are you sticking with red? I guess I'll be blue. You'll be blue? Alright, I'll be red then. And this will be nice since this game is new, the cards aren't like bowed out. <laughs> mm. Like this one is. Mm. I actually got it in a trade. So. And if you need to know anyone's ability, there's not as many in Oh, well, there may be actually. So. Points are calculated the same? Yes, the exact same way. Okay. I guess I'll start with Oh, Ares, Prince of War. Alright. So after he battles, I lose points for each hit flip. So I'll just have him as a strong starter. After you lose one point per enemy tile, it flipped. Oh, wow, okay. That is a pretty good start. Um, and he is he is tough. Uh, but I think, it'll, I think it'll be pretty sexy to just go ahead and do that right there with the mana core. And you may flip one. It's just <laughs> what are you the three flips? <laughs> <laughs> and in both these games, like the original and the expansion pretty much is uh, I really like abilities more than I like high power yeah you're gonna win with high power but abilities kind of tend to do a lot more so that's that's pretty much my strategy so that's that and no we don't draw just so you know oh, so this is it yeah this is, well because we do two rounds and then because we'll have enough cards to uh, uh, make a five by five grid I think yeah yeah while he decides how he wants to play, yeah, we do, um, should have six, and then, yep, and we do the same, yep, yeah, cool. Mm. No, I know, I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's really funny that I get, ah, oh, I didn't read that one, that one's pretty fun cool too. Probably be the same, be the correct color. Okay. I guess I'll do uh, Mimic, and I will copy your Manticore's ability. I may copy one Manticore or optional ability on, you know, on a tile in play. Oh. Come back over here, Ares. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, fine. Let's go ahead and do Alexander. Instead of battling, you may flip one enemy tile in play. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get Ares back on my side. Well, that was the end of it. Now he's blocked off. Actually, um, yeah, right there. Whoo! I was like, dang it! I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Aries. <clears throat> ah! That's new. The gods are favoring me today. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. So we don't draw at all? No. No, we're stuck with what we got. Uh, and then we, and then we'll get a whole new hand for the second round. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's that. I think, like, with, with the, the drawings, 
for, for these people. It's, they're so weird. Level 99 does weird things with their games. But they're awesome. Alright, what are you doing? Mm. And I want. flip you in reverse at the end of it. Oh really? Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna go right here with my centaur. Fuck your centaur. Um, and then flip him and then it says you may take another turn after this one. So let's go Watch out the OP content. <laughs> so free flip, free flip. <laughs> take another turn. Yeah, yeah, it's pre it's pretty sweet. I hate Seth. Um uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be good later on. Uh <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do Artemis right here. It says when battling this tile, uh, battles with the furthest tile in this row and column. So let's go ahead and flip that. And since I didn't place adjacent to him, adjacent to this one, which I didn't do! <laughs> You're a cunt. <laughs> Awful cunt. Saying you will because you have more cards. Oh wait, no, no you don't. No, because I'll go, then you go, then I'll go. Okay. Uh, see, yeah, that's that's the thing. All right. Because that's not beneficial to me. So, um, we're just gonna go ahead and. I'm gonna go ahead and go right here. Hades does not battle one place, flip all adjacent tiles to this side, um, but then he gets flipped. Oh, the Alexian. Oh, I, yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, except, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much him. So, I don't know why they made Hades the Alexian, you would think they'd make Zeus or something like that. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, yeah, no, that's right, I'm red. Last time. Um. Oh, yes. don't, don't look at my card. Freaking cheater! No, it's decided. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll place plain old, plain Jane athlete over here. Cool. Flip this kid. He's pretty neat. But you can't have pluses. Um, would that limit only print? Oh, okay. I see. I get, if I'm fighting him, okay. So let's go ahead the last and card. part of the cards. Um, yeah. Blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna do Zeus uh, and beat him, and then you gain one point for each ally tile adjacent to the terrain tile. Mm. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> uh, oh, shit! Yeah, you totally got me there. Uh, I actually forgot that that was a thing for the terrain tile. Yeah, well, I can do one more thing. Boop. Okay. Boop. Okay, so now we're going to get points um, 
for this one round. Let's see. Where's my 15? I didn't get it. All right, so, oh good, this is nice. I don't have to undo the whole thing. Okay, so we'll just go this way. So you're getting two points. Okay. I'm getting one point. You're getting one point. I'm getting two points. And then we're both getting zero. But um, you get two. I get four because Zeus. Each one's worth two. No, the Zeus's ability is also the same Wait, as that. You gain plus one point for each ally. Adjacent to the terrain tile, and that's. Like, so you're gonna get one point. I'm gonna get four. Okay. I wonder who wins. <laughs> well, we do. We, we do get to do one more round. So. So I get four points here. I'm at seven. <laughs> so then, does this tally over the next round? Oh, so we continue building. Yeah, yeah. This? Oh, we just tally points. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. Griffon, King Midas, Kraken, Hercules. Okay, so let's go ahead. And since you played last, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go right here with Lamia. When this tile battles, that only flips enemy tiles with no printed combat number greater than four. So we're gonna beat that one, and we're gonna beat this one. Your turn. Um, huh? Well, that's nice. That's kind of cool. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and these are these are only end of round, so I don't think the end of round abilities go on. To, maybe they might go to both rounds. Um, actually, let me look. Zeus is fifty, which makes sense. Uh, well, it might, it might go. Yeah, it might be both rounds. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Alright. It is your turn, good sir. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll do... I guess we'll do Griffon! Flip your Zeus! Oh, you can just do that? It just says, does not battle when placed. Flip any enemy tile Oh, it's, it's the rock. Yeah, okay. It's the rock! Alright, um, uh, oh, oh, that's, that's fucking great. Um, let's go ahead and do Hermes, um, and, ooh, how can I play this? Yeah, I think that benefits me a little bit more. Um, well, does it? Let me think. Let me hold on to that one. Um, and this one's fucking useless, that one's useless. Uh, that's definitely useless. Um, so, for each adjacent tile, so it would be... Okay. Um, we are going to go... Huh. Well, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the nymph. Right there, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna beat the rock, and then I can swap two adjacent tiles. Oh, okay, that must be. Oh, it must be adjacent to her. That's probably not, not that good then. So I'm just gonna leave her there. So it's your turn. And then, man. okay. So placement is everything in this game, which seems obvious, but. Like, if you're going to use your abilities effectively or your power effectively, you need to place it in the perfect spot, which is a, a pretty good strategy to this game. I don't know, I'm going to think there, but I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah. King Midas. Any adjacent tile cannot be flipped by any means. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, so they'll actually protect him. They protect him, but it protects Zeus. Okay. Um. 
let's go ahead and do uh, oh, okay. Um, Are you still flipping? Yes, I am. I'm going to do the Muse right there. Mm. This tile is plus two to, all, to its combat numbers for each adjacent tile. So that does flip that. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Stupid Zeus. Little bitch. Hm. No one even likes you. That's why we're all glad you died in God of War. Guess I'll do Kraken. Flip this kid. As well as old King Moitus. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and put Achilles right over here. Oh, yeah, this is zero. And, and it says <laughs> your opponent decides this tile's orientation. So, how do you want me to place him? Wait, where's he going? He's going right here. So, so, I get to rotate him? I guess you get to decide how I place him. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, I think, didn't you just go like, isn't it great or something? Uh, <laughs> and that just made me, the way you said it made me think of, <laughs> isn't it great? I don't know why it made me think of that. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, okay, it's so we are, okay, we are limited now. Oh, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, it tightens up real quick, like my butthole. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Remember when I asked you if it's better to be... <laughs> Tyler loose. Mm. It's just it's one of those things. It's a place all Hercules. Right here, well I right decide what I want to do. I guess so. That is perfect. Oh, here it comes. Let's go ahead. Part of the cards. Blue eyes, white dragon. Hermes does not battle in place. Flip all tiles in the row and column this tile is in. So, unless. Yeah, by any means. So we'll flip that you one. You just flip everybody? Uh, yes, I do. Um, <laughs> so. So, yep. <laughs> you know, I, I just. I don't. It's in the field. Just, I was just really hoping that... You just, uh, just, oh, by the way, fuck you, <laughs> guards! Free flips! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you're just, you're killing me, kid. You're killing me with these cards, man. Just, uh, I'm sorry. These are such neat cards today. Uh, shit, fuck them. Shit, so bad. I just tile and any other tile in play. So, uh, who is that? Uh, Odysseus. Odysseus. I wonder if they have, um, oh man, what's that? Oedipus. I wonder if Oedipus is in here. Because that'd be funny. Uh, you do not do anything. You have to go sleep with your mother. But I already do that. They don't have Oedipus in here. That's stupid. This is stupid. Even not even realistic. <coughs> I'm dying. Chocolate rain. Well, you just play a card. Right? I don't know what to do. Oh. This is stupid. This is stupid. <laughs> he just came. <laughs> I hate this game. Uh, fuck. Morale's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, 
Um, After that fucking Hardy's nuke. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, I just kind of want to save, save this spot so I'm just going to go right there and just do that. And then there's the, the points, the tile points, those are nice. Flip this kid and then I flip right back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Alright, so now. You the, win! No, hey, no, I knew I lost the first one. It needs the satisfaction! Well, you got the satisfaction <laughs> of, <laughs> of cell swords. Uh, Alright, so we're just gonna go this way, so I'm gonna get two points and you're gonna get. Uh, you're gonna get one. Mm -hmm. Then this one, I'm gonna get one point, you're gonna get two. Then this one, I'm gonna get two points, you're gonna get zero. Then this one, I'm gonna get two points, and you're gonna get uh, one. And then this one, I'm gonna get two points, and you're gonna get one. Um, now we're going this way. We'll start here. I'm gonna get two points, you're gonna get one. Um, you're gonna get two points, I'm gonna get one. Then this one, you're gonna get two points, I'm gonna get zero. And then don't worry, we'll do that. And then I'm gonna get four points and you're going to get zero and then this one I'm going to get four points and you're going to get zero and then points for being adjacent I'm going to get one or I'm going to get three and then you're going to get um, two okay how'd you fare what'd you get? 30. 16 <laughs> and I got 30 <laughs> Whatever. so that's it everyone that's a game of Cell Swords and Cell Swords Olympus I hope you enjoyed even though that glare was in the fucking way the entire time uh, click the I to go to the discussion, but other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey. 2,000 rupees! 3,000 rupees! 600 million dollars! 600 million and one rupees! Uh, I think that's more, uh, but, uh, we're never gonna fight, are we? No. You just... Okay, well, fuck it then. All right, bye. I'm not paying for him. Bye! Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to support us, you can go ahead and click that link to go to my Patreon account. If you have any suggestions, you can go ahead and click the link in the show notes below to go to my board game geek, geek list. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.